Yep, got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go to guy for all his legal problems, you know? I mean, these are two good ones. Does it matter if I do them in the right order? Because this is the dumb one. Does it matter if I do it in the right order? I think it's like, did Hamarui kill him, and what has Hamaru said about it? We know why the police have arrested him. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with the Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. Did that help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Continuing on here, and I'm just gonna say that, man, <laughs> I'd love, I, I think I could just, I should probably just look up, like, all the good choices to make to get the SP, but, like, if, if the choices are gonna be, like, a very common thing, that's gonna be a lot of shit, and you, you don't get a trophy for getting, for getting all of these, thank God, but still. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from a morgue. Hamura and Kuma are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. I didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Who made the poor bastard getting dragged into the club? Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep, got a name too. Akira Murase, another Kyori thug. Word is he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look at things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Hmm. Crazy how clear it all is. Amura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. Did something else happen? What else could the camera have caught? One hour later, everyone leaves. Except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Because the killer yeah, was already inside. He's working with the killer. Yeah. Meaning, it was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? So there's no doubt that Hamura was along with, with, was along with Kume right before he died. What did Hamura say he did with Kume again? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how 
how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. Yeah, you just get 80 experience for every step you make, so... Hmm. I mean, the skills are very expensive. Ah, uh, these are your Yakuza. Let's have at it, boys. Bring it up. Ah, wrong button. Let me on the wall. Oh, wow, I suck. Yeah! Gotcha. Kick in the face. Damn, made him bounce. Look at him do them splits. Thanks for the money. Huh? Why can't you just write it in there? What's that sound? Anyway, Club Amuyo. This is where everything went down between Hamura and Kume. The angle of the footage should help me find where the camera is. Right there. Uh huh. Uh. Well, he's doing it himself. I mean, I already know where it is, but anything, uh, anything suspicious? Like, I, I literally know where it is, but I'm just wondering if there's any, like, oh, 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 meow, 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 uh huh? I hear you, buddy. My eyesight kind of bad. How far can I go in with this? Okay, I'm definitely right next to you. Oh, there you are. Suspicious. A cat. They're, they wouldn't put multiple cats in a location, would they? waiting for a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hey. Found it. This is the security camera that gave us our footage. Better go talk to the owner of a mule. something? Sure thing, Yuri Wollenthal. I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? Which I think that's him. Oh, I had that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. Manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was going to happen. He never has his phone on during the day. What? He usually what? hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right. I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just going to walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. The name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Huh. If you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. You know, I gotta say, I actually like how normal they sound. Like, they... Everyone sounds pretty natural. Like, more natural than other games have them sound.
So this is the back of the club. Oh, it's a security camera. Oh, wait, it's broken? Damn. The night of the crime. Homer said he and Kume left the club from the back from this door. This camera would have caught that if it had been working. For where the owner is, I know just the person to ask. I have a feeling he'll n he'll be where he always is, Montai Internet Cafe. How's a Montai? All right. Oh, of course, the place is just right by us. Boys, don't do it now. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Ah. Yep. Hey, 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 hey! Hands off. Damn it. There. Really, guys? Very good. Why? What? Why not just make them go outside? I want in. Let me in. Oh! Oh! <laughs> they. I can't believe they make that breakable. I think I read a story, um, that a teen, like, ended up living in one of these places. I mean... Can I imagine that? You just live in a place like this. So I'm looking for somebody in here. What if I just... I'll just break them all and I'll find them that way. Okay, these need like a good run into them though. There he is. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's, well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet modern-day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho, either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. Ah, what do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? The chatter oh. app? I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Ah, that's so how you find side cases. Look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Oh, what the fuck? Never okay, mind. And let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say today. About to get his money. Oh, hey! About to get his app over See? the money that here. I'll tell but... you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. I'm not gonna lie. I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> okay, wow. they, we're talking about multiple Aragakis. Mm, 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? 
some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great. Let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? 25-year-old and swole? Oh my god. It's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only 10 minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, we try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Damn. I bet I can break this one. You know, he's in here, so you definitely can't break that one. The dragon engine and its funny physics of break of breaking things. And they know their physics breaks everything because they gave you a skill to make sure the. Uh, that's bull. I thought I just saw that dude. From, I I thought I saw someone up there. But it's such bullshit that they know their engine does that. That they made the enemies hear that during tailing missions. Find the man who posted. Must be you. Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. He wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihe Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. Hmm. Okay. I thought there was a sushi joint, like, down here. Yep. Telling me about the stray cats that I can find. There's a lot I'm gonna have to wrap up in my Legend playthrough. You know, the hardest difficulty in the game. Because I'm sure I'm still gonna miss things, even though I'm gonna try my best. Ah, a fight. Just what I'm looking for. Oh god. He said he wasn't having that nonsense. Yagami just throws these dudes like they're nothing. I definitely gotta get some new moves. Time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amur. And you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. Well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. Man, just show him the wrong evidence. Alright, this one would be a pretty good one. Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left a moor with these Matsugane goons. Leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> Guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. Hey. 
Man, you don't even seem to get anything extra for getting it right. Maybe I should've just got it wrong for the dialogue. Huh. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then, right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. And probably the killer who came in from the back door. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Well, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. But if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. No clue what went down in the club after that. Okay. So... We already know about the violence in the club. So, about that camera, about out, the back. camera out back. Broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month, some drunk asshole chucked a rock, cracked it right open. That was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Not much use to me then. The cops came by after the incident. Right? Come on! I already know about the fucking violence. Detective, yeah, guy named Karoywa, apparently with organized crime. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. Forensics was tearing this place apart trying to find blood stains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. Now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds like he didn't die here, then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. I mean, nothing too serious. Once in a while, they'd hit him a little harder to make him bleed, I guess. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. Are you done here? Maybe I really do need to think more about how they actually hit somebody. Like, did they kick the shit out of him or did they slap him around a little? Guess that's something you need to focus on. FaceTime calls? What's up? Hey man, where are you? Just left a club called Amora, over on Supon Street. Amora? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? What? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Huh. That's the last way I was expecting a phone call in a Yakuza game. Actually, that's the last- That was the least expected call to ever get in a video game, period. It was a FaceTime call. could have been walking down the road for a fight. Disappointed.
Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yakamiku. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Oh, so they used to date. My heart again. Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamura of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges? They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And his prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumita. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. Ah, he's going to be a gentleman. I mean, you, he really should walk her back. This is Camarocho we're talking about. Every, anything and everything can happen here. Where'd she go? Mafia, you. Not so fast. Who are you? Chief Prosecutor? And Yakumiku, what are you doing? Well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Damn it! How can I forget this man? I need actually. I don't know who his voice actor is, but I know the characters he plays. This is Chief Prosecutor Morita, and um, you already know Prosecutor Izumita. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Oh man, it's Ray Chase. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn me, it breaks my heart. So you're defending Amara, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home off of you. Later. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. Man. What an ass. One because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumita. It's okay, Izumita san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami Khan. Farewell. Man, is 
that guy got Noro or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. So, what do we do about the case? Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. You should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there, too. Got it. See you over there, then. What is it now? Look, just, uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. I'll give you a breather. Man, when your tough Yakuza friend tells you to calm down... There's a cup in the way, so... Oh, oh hey. It's, it's Sukumo. Sorry to bug, ya, Yama, Yamagishi, but I kind of need to ask a small favor. Just think of it as paying me back for last time. Fair enough. What do you need me to do? Buy me a model figure. There's a specific one I've been looking for, and apparently they have it at Ibisu. Which makes sense, since they're women edition and sold out everywhere else. This may be my only chance to get it. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Ibusi. Or Ibisu. Ibisu.